year 11 we are back to school this week um and i would like to have a crystal ball and tell you exactly what is going to happen but i don't because things are changing so so rapidly um one thing that i can guarantee you is that i am going to be here with you every single step of the way i'm going to be chatting in random videos like this as often as I can. I'm going to be putting out a, like teaching videos, math, science, history, citizenship nearly every single day of the week. I am going to be here with you. I can pretty much promise you that. I can't promise you that you're going to be sitting exams because they might be cancelled again. I can't promise you that you're going to be in school the entire time because chances are we are going to see localised lockdowns, chances are we are going to see some localised school closures, whether it's like um, area wide or whether it's school wide. Um, I can't promise you that things are going to be happy and sparkly and okay, but I can promise you that I'm going to try my hardest to do everything that I can for you this year. Um, because I'm going to be honest with you, you guys have got it tough. You are going into your GCSEs, um, having spent six months out of school, and like I said, everybody's situation is different. We don't know whether, um, like, you had a lot to deal with at school, at home, whether there's a lot of external pressures from, you know, like, the adults at home, the other kids at home, whether um, you were stressed about people risking their lives when they went out to work every day. Everyone is going to be going back to school dealing with different stuff so there is no one solution fits all answer for this everyone has different stuff they've going on everyone has dealt with the last six months very very differently so everyone is going to deal with the one up to exams very very differently um if you need help if you are struggling with your mental health if there is something you're worried about or if you're worried about one of your friends the most important thing you can do is talk to somebody whether it's uh calling a helpline number with the samaritans or child line whether it is reaching out to your teachers whether for yourself it's kind of like miss i don't i don't feel quite right i don't know exactly what's wrong with me but something's not right or whether it's talking to your teacher about one of your friends to say look so and so used to be really happy and smiley and now they're just not smiling and i don't know what's wrong with them but i'm worried about them that kind of reaching out is really really important to you know like a help now number to a teacher to some of the adults at home i think that is the single most important thing that we can do this year is looking after you looking after ourselves and looking after the people around us that is the most important thing that we need to get out of this and then i know a teacher saying this is probably a bit weird for you but secondary to that we do need to think about your schoolwork um at the moment exams are going ahead in 2021 um but there is no guarantee that that is still going to be the case come may june time um there are changes to the exam slight changes which honestly you don't need to worry about um is many of the teachers that need to worry about this sort of thing um they will just not teach you some sections or change the way they teach it you don't need to worry about that but i have done a whole separate video explaining all of that in detail to you but in reality there are many other things that you personally need to worry about um and the, the minor changes to the exams shouldn't be something that takes up too much of your time. I imagine the thing that you're most worried about is um, if exams don't take place, we're probably going to be using centre assess grades again. So you need to be working, revising right from the beginning of the year. Um, because if your teachers are going to be working out central assess grades, then they are going to be doing it based on your performance this year. So you need to be showing your teachers right from the beginning what you are capable of. Now, I know you had a whole chunk of time out of school and all schools are going to respond to the, the catch up time differently. But there are lots and lots of things that you can do independently um, which aren't going to be too much hassle, which aren't going to be too much stress to make sure you're catching up this time. So look at where you should be. And if you're not sure where you should be, well then just start at the beginning of the course. And go through the course saying, do I know this? 
did I maybe miss a lesson because I was sick or I had a piano lesson or I was out for a rugby game or um, was it like a fry lesson and a Friday and I wasn't really paying attention to this lesson. So go through either the contents pages, your revision guide or the specifications or the free revision guides that I've got over my website. Basically list things out for you and go through those and just go through do I know this, do I not know this and identify where the gaps are. I think at this stage in the year that is the most important thing that you can be doing. And then go and fill in those gaps. So either look at the page in the revision guide, go and ask your teacher for some help, go and ask your friends for their notes, or go and watch one of their videos, or go and watch somebody else's videos. I, I'm all about you trying to use whatever resources you can to fill in those gaps. So if there's something else that you use to, to do stuff, then like drop a comment down below and tell everyone else about it, because it is all about sharing, all about us working together to get through this as best as we possibly can. So identify the gaps, and then try and fill in those gaps. Um, and once you've filled in those gaps with videos, textbooks, whatever you want to do, test yourself on those gaps. So do some practice questions. Now I've spent ages sorting out the courses on my website, um, where there are just loads and loads and loads of practice questions for you to go through on like math, science, history, um, citizenship, loads more for A level, but just loads and loads of questions where you can go and do questions and it's a really low press situation. Nobody's watching you, nobody's checking up on you, nobody like your teachers aren't going to see these grades. But if you're doing all this like extra work that you don't even have to tell your teachers or your friends or anybody about when it comes to your tests, um, you're going to be in a much, much better position. Don't leave it on until we know whether there are going to be exams or not. Don't leave it on until Easter um, because that's too late. You'll have too much to do and the stress of this year and the stress of all of that is just not going to be good for you. Um, one thing when we can one thing we can expect when we go back to school is that you are probably going to have a mock exam really really early on um because this is one of the things that the teachers use for their center assessed grades you're probably going to have more mocks that are probably going to be in much more formal um setting because of the toing and froing with the government and of course you know can you use mocks can't you use mocks um so there are going to be lots and lots of changes, lots and lots of different things going on this year. But looking after you, looking after your mental health, using the resources that are available from me, from loads and loads of other people, to try and do as much as you possibly can to get yourself to where you should be, to show to your teacher right from the start what a brilliant, brilliant student you are. Now... I'm sure over the past few weeks you've been seeing lots of headlines about uh, grades going up, grades going down. There is nothing we can do about what's happened in the past and now. We can only try and move forward in the future. And the best way you can do that is focusing on you. And I know this sounds like me telling you to be really selfish and there is nothing wrong with you being selfish. There is nothing wrong with you focusing on you and making sure that you show the teachers how good you are so that you get the correct um, centre assess grades if we go through that. And to be honest, if we don't go down that route, if there are still exams, but you've been preparing for centre assess grades, then all you've actually done is just started revising for your exams now, which will make the actual exams, April, May, June next year, a lot less stressful than it normally is. So that is a good, good thing. Um, so back to school this year was going to be really tough. I'm sorry guys, there is uh, not a lot we can do about that. Um, but I'm going to do everything I can to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.